Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of Indonesia and the Prime Minister of the Republic of Singapore are entering the credential room, Merdeka Presidential Palace. Joint press statement by the President of the Republic of Indonesia, His Excellency Mr. Prabowo Subianto, and the Prime Minister of the Republic of Singapore, His Excellency Mr. Lawrence Wong. To begin, we kindly invite the President of the Republic of Indonesia to deliver his press statement. Perdana Menteri Lawrence Wong yang saya hormati dan yang saya Muliakan delegasi dari Singapura, saudara sekalian, para menteri Kabinet Merah Putih, saudara-saudaraku sebangsa dan setanah air, rekan-rekan media yang saya hormati. Pertama-tama izinkan saya menyampaikan sambutan yang hangat kepada yang mulia Perdana Menteri Lawrence Wong. Selamat datang kembali di Jakarta. Ini adalah keempat kali saya berjumpa dengan Perdana Menteri Lawrence Wong. Kunjungan ini sangat bermakna karena ini merupakan kunjungan resmi pertama yang saya terima dari tamu negara asing sejak pelantikan saya sebagai Presiden Republik Indonesia. Singapura adalah salah satu tetangga terdekat dan mitra yang sangat penting bagi Indonesia. Kita memiliki kerjasama yang baik secara bilateral dan juga dalam kerangka ASEAN. Kita memiliki pandangan yang sejalan dalam banyak isu, khususnya untuk memastikan perdamaian, stabilitas, dan kemakmuran di kawasan. Saya berharap kunjungan ini akan menjadi momentum bagi kita untuk meningkatkan kerjasama lebih baik lagi di saat yang akan datang khususnya di sektor-sektor strategis dan penting bagi kedua negara, termasuk kerjasama pertahanan, hukum, perdagangan, investasi, ketahanan pangan dan energi, serta pengembangan sumber daya manusia. Saudara-saudara sekalian, Perdana Menteri Wong dan saya telah mengadakan diskusi yang intensif dan konstruktif terkait beberapa isu bilateral. Pertama, mengenai kerjasama pertahanan dan hukum. Singapura dan Indonesia berkomitmen untuk sepenuhnya melaksanakan perjanjian kerjasama pertahanan. Defense Cooperation Agreement, termasuk pengaturan wilayah latihan militer. Kedua, mengenai kerjasama ekonomi. Singapura adalah salah satu mitra perdagangan dan investor terbesar di Indonesia. Saya berharap Singapura, Singapura dapat memfasilitasi akses pasar yang lebih luas bagi produk Indonesia, termasuk melalui harmonisasi, regulasi, dan standar. Kami juga membahas upaya untuk meningkatkan investasi Singapura di Indonesia pada sektor prioritas, termasuk energi terbarukan, hilirisasi industri, ketahanan pangan, digital dan semikonduktor, kesehatan, serta IKN. Ketiga, mengenai teknologi energi rendah karbon. Kami membahas 
proyek kerjasama yang sedang berjalan termasuk interkoneksi listrik lintas batas, pengembangan bersama untuk hidrogen hijau di Sumatera, dan pembangkit listrik tenaga surya. Kami juga sepakat untuk menindak lanjuti kerjasama terkait penangkapan dan penyimpanan karbon, carbon capture and storage. Keempat, mengenai ketahanan pangan, kami membahas potensi kerjasama terkait transfer teknologi dan pertukaran keahlian di bidang ketahanan pangan, khususnya dalam pertanian perkotaan dan pengembangan kawasan lumbung pangan, food estate. Kami sepakat untuk mempercepat penyelesaian MOU tentang kerjasama keamanan pangan dan, dan teknologi pertanian. Kelima, mengenai pengembangan sumber daya manusia. Kami sepakat untuk meningkatkan kerjasama di bidang pendidikan, ilmu pengetahuan, teknologi, digitalisasi, dan pertukaran profesional. Saudara-saudara sekalian, selain kerjasama bilateral, Perdana Menteri Wong dan saya juga bertukar pandangan mengenai isu-isu regional dan internasional. Kami memiliki pandangan yang sama mengenai pentingnya menjaga perdamaian dan keamanan regional dan internasional di tengah situasi geopolitik yang semakin kompleks. Terkait Timur Tengah, saya menyampaikan keprihatinan mendalam atas situasi di Palestina dan Lebanon. Saya menekankan pentingnya untuk terus menyuruhkan penghentian kekerasan segera, pengiriman bantuan kemanusiaan yang tanpa hambatan, dan pencapaian solusi dua negara untuk Palestina dan Israel berdasarkan hukum internasional. Terkait Myanmar, kami sepakat untuk memastikan implementasi lima poin konsensus, khususnya dialog nasional yang inklusif dan pengiriman bantuan kemanusiaan. Saudara-saudara sekalian, saya ingin mengucapkan terima kasih kepada Perdana Menteri Lawrence Wong dan seluruh delegasi Singapura atas diskusi yang intensif dan bermanfaat. Saya yakin hubungan bilateral antara Indonesia dan Singapura akan terus berkembang. Saya sudah menyampaikan saya akan hadir dalam Leaders Retreat tahun depan di Singapura pada waktu dan tempat yang disepakati bersama. Saya kira itu yang ingin saya sampaikan. Kami terus bertekad untuk meningkatkan hubungan antara Singapura dan Indonesia untuk semakin erat dan semakin bermanfaat bagi kedua negara dan bagi kawasan Asia Tenggara. Terima kasih. Thank you very much. Next, we can invite the Prime Minister of the Republic of Singapore to deliver his press statement. Your Excellency President Prabowo, Ministers, ladies and gentlemen, let me start by thanking President Prabowo for his warm hospitality to me and my team. This is my third visit to Indonesia within this year alone. It's also my fourth time meeting President Prabowo this year because he had a visit to Singapore. So we have met four times this year. But this visit is special because it is my first official visit to Indonesia as Prime Minister and I'm honoured to be President Prabowo's first official guest as well. And I'm grateful that he's able to find time to host me so soon after his inauguration. President Prabowo has charted out a full agenda ahead. I am inspired by his energy and determination to lead Indonesia to an even brighter future. And I assured him of Singapore's support as a close friend and steadfast partner in this journey. We want Indonesia to succeed and Singapore remains deeply invested 
in Indonesia's success. Both President Prabhu and I are leaders starting out in our new roles, but we have both benefited from the work of our predecessors. They have helped to lay a very strong foundation in bringing our two countries close together. And we have also, through their leadership, been able to resolve long-standing issues and resolve them in a way of mutual uh, cooperation and mutual, benefic uh, mutual benefit. So as new leaders now, both of us are able to write a new chapter in our bilateral ties and take the relationship to even greater heights. And so I had a very productive conversation just now with President Prabhu and together with our ministers, and we discussed some new and exciting opportunities for collaboration in the coming years. This includes on defence, uh, taking the relationship even further. We are very honoured and grateful to President Prabhu for his leadership as defence minister in uh, bringing the defence cooperation agreement into being and allowing that to come into force. Now we can work together to bring our two militaries even closer together and continue to strengthen our defence cooperation in new ways. On trade and investments, we continue to facilitate more trade, more investment flows, and we want to see cooperation in new areas like digital technologies, like healthcare and other areas. We also discuss opportunities to collaborate in areas which are aligned to Indonesia's priorities. One of them is on food security. And so we are discussing how, through exchanging of best practices, through sharing of technologies, we can mutually benefit from cooperation in the agriculture and food sector. Another important area is energy security, and we also had very good discussions on how we can work together on areas like clean energy and sustainability. This can be a new growth engine for both our countries especially when we realise cross-border energy exports as well as cross-border carbon capture and storage projects in the coming years. And then finally, on human capital, we are very happy to support President Prabhu's plans for human capital development, such as through the ramping up of training and exchanges between our students, our teachers, our officials and our young professionals. Importantly, the Indonesia-Singapore relationship is one that's built on a very strong foundation of friendship. Friendship not just amongst leaders, but across all levels of our society. At the leadership le level, we have very close links and our leaders have known each other for a long time and also know each other very well. At the business level, we have close ties, lots of collaborations, amongst the private sector and mutual flow of trade and investments. At the people-to-people -people level, we also have very close ties and many mutual visits between Singapore and Indonesia. In fact, we are among each other's top visitor arrivals and our educational and research institutions have very close links. And the President and I discussed different ways in which we can continue to strengthen these people-to-people -people ties across all the different areas. Education, research, healthcare, business, we want to do more together. Both the President and I also had a very good discussion on the wider global environment. We are entering a more troubling era in global affairs. We know that there are going to be more geopolitical tensions to manage. But Indonesia and Singapore share many common strategic perspectives of the world. We both want to be friends to all. We both want to be good neighbours. We both want to be able to have close ties with America as well as China and we will both exercise active and independent foreign policies towards that effect in order to achieve mutual benefit, mutual interest and importantly,
peace, stability and prosperity for ourselves and for Southeast Asia. So we hope that the strong bilateral ties between Indonesia and Singapore will not only help our respective countries, but provide pathfinders to accelerate ASEAN integration and make for a stronger and more united ASEAN. In this more complicated world, a strong ASEAN will serve us well and will help to ensure that the region is able to prosper, attract investments into Southeast Asia and provide a conducive environment for all the people of Southeast Asia, Indonesia and Singapore to benefit together. So once again, we are very grateful, President Prabowo, for your hospitality, for this opportunity for us to be here, to have a very fruitful and productive conversation with you and your cabinet members. I look forward to welcoming you to Singapore in the near future and to continue our conversations at our annual leaders' retreat, which Singapore will host next year. Terima kasih, Bapak President. We have reached the end of joint press statement. The President of the Republic of Indonesia and the Prime Minister of the Republic of Singapore will now proceed to reception hall for an official banquet, followed by members of the official delegation.